Microsoft have plans on making Windows a subscription-based OS. Apparently, Microsoft are planning to make Windows 11, and 12 for that matter, a subscription-based OS, which means that the end user will have to pay a license fee in order to use their much-beloved Windows operating system. Windows is already expensive enough as is, it costs over $100 just to get a copy of Windows 11 Home or Professional. No wonder businesses take a lot longer to upgrade, the cost of upgrading many many machines would be unthinkable, and some computers might be too old to run the latest and greatest version of Windows, this is often a reason companies stick with older, unsupported versions of Windows, even in a rich country like Australia, a certain percentage of the population there still run Windows 7, this also includes places like medical centers, hospitals, and other places that have mission-critical systems that might be incompatible with newer versions of Windows or specific software. Microsoft Office was the first product to become subscription-based, and after I heard about this, I could inevitably see that Windows was going to follow suit, and a while later, my prediction is very accurate and seems right. Now we have another reason to use a free and open-source system such as Linux, Heiko OS or another free and open source operating system, paying to use your computer is robbery, and it is unfair, why should you have to pay just to use your operating system, why should you pay just to have access to substandard garbage, why? It does not make sense, and you all know how much of a free and open source advocate I am, so seeing Microsoft have intentions to force people to pay just to use their operating system really goes to show you that Windows is just there for profit not for quality, and the amount of data collection bundled in Windows is an absolute joke, so are the many updates that introduce major problems with your PC, so much so it could actually hinder its functionality completely and break your SSD, that clearly shows you that there is little regard for user satisfaction, privacy, and there is little to no regard for their preferences. It's a disgrace to see them treat the consumer market this way, and considering Windows is the dominant operating system across the world, how could companies worldwide keep up, especially considering all the other problems going on, such as the coronavirus situation, and the cost of living increases, which have made life incredibly difficult for some people, as they might have the choice between having food on the table, or not having food on the table. That is the unfortunate reality for some people, and paying to use your computer on top of your existing expenses is certainly not going to help your financial problems, if anything, it will contribute to them, so with Microsoft's intentions, which will most likely come into effect soon, to make Windows a paid-for operating system that you pay continuously to use, maybe it's a good idea you looked into a free and open source operating system, such as Linux. But with Linux, you get to choose from a wide number of different flavors, or distributions, and best of all, it's completely free to download and use, no subscription fees, no license fees, no costs, and the free and open source software for Linux will also guarantee you can save some money, that money could go towards something like a custom PC, or something you really want, and I greatly encourage you to trial Linux distribution. If using Linux is of your interest of course, my personal recommendation to beginners is Linux Mint, as it is one of the easiest Linux distributions to set up and use, it works really well on any existing hardware, including older or less powerful hardware, it's also very friendly when it comes to user privacy, as no telemetry or tracking is bundled with it, although your applications can still collect data about you and your operating system, and Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu and has a large community base surrounding it, meaning you can talk to other people who also use Linux Mint, and ask them for help if that need arises, or you need to troubleshoot a problem, and the fact it's based on Ubuntu means you will always get the latest updates for your applications around the same time Ubuntu does, but a Debian edition is also available, in case you're opposed to Ubuntu or using a distro based on it. However, I personally think there is little difference, other than the fact that the Debian edition of Linux Mint is based on Debian, obviously. More people could have good reason to ditch Windows for good, especially considering that it's likely to become a subscription-based system, so even the home users out there will eventually have to pay to use their PCs, 
Is that not ridiculous? I think it is, it's also robbery to the user, as he or she must pay to use their system, it's also likely that Microsoft will offer a free but feature reduced version of Windows, so the people who cannot afford to use it might still be able to use it, but the chances that a free version of Windows will be as good as the paid for version is almost non-existent. Microsoft will most likely cut out a lot of features and functionality, making it seem like the paid for version of Windows is better, and this is to get people to pay for it, but many users will be pissed off especially the ones who are poor or do not like subscription-based software, and it is very unfortunate to see them try to cut poor people out of the PC market completely. Well luckily for you people who are poor, you do have free options like Linux, and chances are, you might have an older PC or laptop. Poor people generally buy a refurbished or pre-owned PCs or laptops as they are significantly cheaper than newer, more modern ones, and Linux will revive older hardware really well, especially if you go with a lightweight Linux distribution such as Linux Lite, and now that Windows is becoming subscription based, this might just be another reason for some people to switch to Linux, so as far as I can tell, Windows 12 will be an abysmal joke, just like Windows 11, but things will probably be even worse, so you Windows users might have to start thinking ahead and see if switching to Linux is a viable option, and if that's not, then you might have to accept things for the way they are and pay for Windows, or possibly use a feature reduced version of it. If Microsoft decide to offer a free version, this is not 100% guaranteed, but it's not entirely unlikely to happen either. What do you think of this? Do you think a lot of people could be pissed off or annoyed that Microsoft are making Windows subscription based? Do you think they will offer a free version with less features? And do you think this is another reason for people to switch to Linux? Let me know down in the comments section below. Alrighty, that's it for this video folks. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.